Hey everybody, Tim Brzezinski here. So Melissa McCain and I are excited to drop two new releases to the BTC auto grading rubric. We're gonna show you them quickly right here. The first one is about how your feedback looks to the students, right? In order for your feedback to be effective, they need to see what they know and what they still don't know, right? And they also need to see where they are and where they're going. So this new update helps show you that more clearly or helps show students that more clearly. Check it out. When knowledge is demonstrated individually two consecutive times in a row, as, as shown here, the student will see a smiley face appear, right? So right here, the student could see that they have demonstrated mastery of this objective at a basic level. And once they do it at the intermediate level, it'll indicate that to them as well, no matter how long it takes, even for the advanced level. See what I mean? Watch this. And there you go. But you know what? Let's suppose the student right here for the last objective, they struggle in the beginning. They struggle, they struggle. And at the intermediate level, maybe they ask for help and they work in a group, right? But all of a sudden something just clicks and they are tackling advanced level questions like amazingly well now. So the two consecutive checks in a row at the advanced level trumps everything before, right? And so if a student could demonstrate knowledge at the advanced level of that objective, then they clearly can do so at the basic and intermediate levels. And this key of smiley face emojis right here will help make that happen. So now here's the second update. This is more of a convenience feature for teachers. Last year when I was using this rubric, it would annoy the heck out of me when I would have to scroll down. Let's say I was on unit six. I would have to scroll down to unit six for every student that was here, for this student, for that student, it was annoying. I would do that first thing in the morning and it would take me five minutes. So that annoyance is gone away because watch this. If you go to the class list page right here, check it out, class list. And all you need to do to the rub all you need to do is indicate to the rubric right over here in cell, G uh, in cell E3, what unit of study are you currently on? So I could choose unit six and it'll change for all students there. Unit six, if I click on a student name now, that will automatically bring me, see how it's at row 102 right there? No scrolling, no longer required. So go back to class list right here. I can now go to Melissa, row 102, and do that. And if you're one of those teachers that loves to have 8,000 tabs up on your screen by 7.30 in the morning, you could click on this and then just right click, open a new tab, and it'll open it in a new tab. Go right here to Peter, and then I'll right click, open a new tab, it'll do the same thing. And there it goes. And I'll do it for one more time. I'll do it for William, right click, open a new tab. And for Brandon, right click, open a new tab. <gasps> Look at that. Tab one, I'm at row 102, row 102, row 102, and row 102. So we hope this update helps you as teachers uh, save time so you don't have to keep scrolling down every time you go beyond unit one. So there's a second update, and we wish you much success as you continue to provide your students meaningful and effective feedback within your thinking classroom.